in question number four in this question you must show all the stages of your work uh, so do not use calculator for this okay especially for this type of questions uh, by substituting uh, p equals to 2 power x show that the equation 2 multiply 4 power x minus 2 power x plus 3 equals to 17 multiply 2 power x minus 1 minus 4 so uh, this equation um, can be changed uh, to this one okay if you substitute the value of 2 power x so better you make uh, all um, uh, values uh, whose power is x uh, convert them into this form 2 power x okay so you can write uh, this way 2 multiply 4 power x could be written as 2 power 2 is 4 if you remember okay power x minus uh, 2 power x and multiply 2 power 3 you can separate the powers because if the coefficient uh, if the bases are same we can add the powers okay so you can split this one 2 power x plus 3 into this form because when bases are same powers are added still you will get the equation the same equation okay and uh, this one could be changed into 2 power x into 2 power minus 1 okay and minus 4 so almost I have done this I, I change everything to 2 power x but still uh, you know that you can replace the powers here no problem so better you write this way 2 power x and power 2 there is no difference okay power to power is multiplied so this 2 will multiply with x still you will get the same result and this is 8 2 power x okay this is 17 bring this 2 power minus 1 down in the denominator it becomes positive 2 power x minus 4 now you can replace you can substitute the values now uh, you substitute 2 power x with p so this one be becomes p it will be 2 p square minus 8 p equals 17 over 2 p minus 4 okay to get rid of this 2 uh, multiply by the same number it is the rule whenever you have a fraction uh, look at the denominator the highest denominator multiply by the same number so you will get rid of denominator and the things will be very simple so if you multiply every term with 2 uh, you get the answer 4p square minus 16p equals 17p minus 8 now bring these two values uh, on the left side of the equation because whenever you move the values from left side of the equation to the right or right side to the left the signs are been changed so it will be 4p square because this 17p and minus 16p will make it minus 33p okay because this will be minus here and this minus 8 becomes positive so this is positive 8 equals to 0 if you notice that it is the required result we need it okay 4p square minus 33p plus 8 so this is the final answer for this part Uh, now uh, you need to solve it because you already uh, converted uh, the given equation into this form to uh, 4p square minus 33p plus 8 uh, so if you solve this equation it means you are solving the second part okay hence solve this so that is difficult to solve uh, this thing is difficult to solve so instead of solving this we will solve this one okay it is a quadratic simple quadratic a quadratic you can use a quadratic formula you could use a factorization method uh, whatever method you want uh, it's up to you you can use any method okay uh, but here uh, for me sometimes uh, factorization is very easy to solve 
uh, these type of questions it takes less time but some students feeling that using quadratic formula is more easier so you can use that formula here as well so it is not the compulsion that you have to use here the factorization method okay it's up to you there are different methods different strategies but here you can adopt any strategy okay uh, here 4 will multiply with 8 you get 32 right positive 32 positive 32 write all the pairs of 4 32 multi plus 16 and 4 multiply 8 so which pair is making by adding or subtracting uh, the middle number uh, the only pair that is uh, making 30 uh, 33 is 32 and 1 so we choose this pair so because we need minus 33 so both numbers should be negative okay you can split this one into uh, minus 1 and minus 32 so we choose this pair it is the rule 4p square minus 1p minus 32p plus 8 equals to 0 what is common in these two p is common so it left with 4p minus 1 and minus 8 is common it left with 4p minus 1 this 4p minus 1 is the common again 4p minus 1 p minus 8 equals to 0 one answer from this pair and other answer from this pair so 4p minus 1 equals to 0 and p minus 8 equals to 0 and p equals to 1 over 4 here and p equals to 8 to solve for x not for p so we know that value of x is 2 power x equals to 1 over 4 and this p 2 power x equals to 8 okay uh, there are two methods to solve uh, one method by using logarithm and other method by making the same powers okay uh, let me teach you both here i think you can write this way uh, 2 power minus 2 there is no difference this is 2 power x equals to 2 power 3 now the bases are same the powers will be equal okay bases are same powers will be equal so x equals to minus 2 and x equals to 3 so these are two answers for this because bases are same then powers will be equal uh, what could be the other way from here you can take the logarithm from here So what is the other, what could be the other way? Uh, we can write like this, 1 over 4. And uh, you know that uh, this becomes the base of the log, okay? Log base 2, 1 over 4 equals to x. And same way, uh, this one is 2 power x equals to 8. And you know that we change these two. And this becomes the base of log. So log 8 base 2 equals to x if you solve and use calculator uh, calculator will give you the answer minus 2 okay and here calculator will give you the answer 3 so this is the other way if you don't know uh, how to make the same basis you can use the logarithm in this method okay that's all about this question question number 4